Hello there, my name is Maiha Mira Darinaju. I am music pupil schooling in Sekolah Kebangsaan Kibabai Tenampang. I am from Class 6 Gemilang. At school, I diligently perform my duty as a class monitor. My ambition is to become a doctor. This is because I like to help people when they're sick. In my leisure time, I like to sing and play with my sister. Prior to this, I have entered many competitions, including national level public speaking, district level singing competition, and reading competition at school. Presently, for the Soko Nilam competition, I am competing in the English category for primary school. The first book that I would like to elaborate is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This book is written by the British author J.K. Rowling. This is the third out of eight book in the series. The book follows Harry Potter, a young wizard in his third year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Along with his friend Ron and Hermione, Harry investigates Sirius Black and escape prisoner from Azkaban, the wizard prison, and believe that he can be one of Lord Voldemort's old allies. In the Hogwarts Express train, the three best friends met their new teacher, Lupin, who is actually a woo-woo. He saved them when a scary Dementor came with a powerful spell. The spell called Petronas will be one of Harry's arsenal to defeat Voldemort. This is my favorite book because it features one of my favorite magical items in the whole series, which is Hermione Time Turner. Ah, how I wish I can return to the past. Moreover, this book introduced Sirius Black, Harry Potter's godfather, who asked him to come live with him instead of live with the Dursley who treat him poorly. The movie was great, but reading the book are better. Why? You might ask. I believe that reading the book are better because it has many details that just couldn't fit in the movie. After all, how do you fit 462 pages of a wonderful story in a two-hour movie? The lesson from this book comes from Dumbledore. Harry said master that says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of the time if one only remember to turn on the light. This quote will remind us to never give up hope and that happiness can be found if you look for it. Second book is entitled The BFG by Roald Dahl. It was written in 1982. The, the BFG stands for the Big Friendly Giant. This book is a page turner because, because it has giant, magical dreams, smart girl, an action, fake, nerve-breaking situation. The book starts with Sophie, a little girl lying on the bed in an orphanage. She was kidnapped because she saw the BFG. She was taken to a big cave where she saw the other bad giants. Sophie and the BFG wanted to get rid of the bad giant because they eat people and animals, while the BFG only eat vegetables. Sophie had a brilliant idea and get help from the Queen of England and other country to trick the bad giant into the humanous hole. And the idea worked, and so everyone saved against the bad giant. This book teach me to not afraid to ask for help, and by doing that, you can achieve great things. The third book that I want to talk about is non-fiction book. It is Victorial Biography of Albert Einstein. This book written by Jane Cook. What caught my eyes is so many pictures in each page included in this book. There are so many pictures of Einstein family achievements and ideas. Einstein was born in Germany, but later moved to the USA. In 1921, he won the Nobel Prize for Physics. Did you know that he was targeted by the Nazis? It was so scary because he fled to the USA where he became a professor. This book inspired me to read more about other Nobel Prize winners such as Marie Curie, Nelson Mandela, Malala Yousafzai, and many more. The fourth book is Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. What's so special about Crusoe? Despite being told not to his parents, he became a seafarer. Unfortunately, the ship sank and all people died escaped him. He swam to an island, he met ten to live in and hunt for food. As time passed, Crusoe being a skilled craftsman, able to construct many useful things, he also learned farming. He encountered cannibals or man-eaters and rescued a person. He called the person Friday and became his loyal companion. At the end of the book, they managed to get back to the civilization and lead a normal life. Robinson Crusoe is a very gripping book because it's adventure and trouble that he encountered.
I learned that no matter how hard life gets, we can go through if we remain positive and have compassion to others. We should be willing to learn new things. We have come to the fifth and last book, which is The Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Road. This book is written by Jeff Kinney. Look at this book. Isn't it so interesting because of the illustration? This is the third book of the series for young readers. The diary continues with Greg's intake at school and at home. He avoids to do his homework and washing his clothes. His father attempts him to be more like his boss kid that active and fit athlete. Between joining the boy squads and going camping and afford to visit his father, Greg is a busy boy. At the end of the book, there's a happy ending according to Greg. Is that it should be? After all, as Greg say, I don't know anyone that deserves to catch a break more than me. I will encourage all of my friends to read this series because they are really terrible to us. Well, that is my book review. I hope you enjoyed that. That has been my Hamira signing off. Thank you.